Hey, hey, Sharon Horn Elstom here. Welcome back to day five of our challenge. It's, it's, a, it's a personal challenge for us, but also for how to do challenges, how to get challenges working for you and for your business, how to be a rock star at them in under a week because you totally and certainly can. And I hope hope I don't hope I I would imagine you're doing this right along with me and if you are you're creating the components and you could actually launch your challenge today you could have done it yesterday but you could launch your challenge and start doing it and actually having one done by the end of this 10 lesson plan now today I want to talk about daily deliverables because yesterday we talked about the mechanics and tools and things and it's super duper simple right you can just do it on Facebook now today I want to talk about engagement how do you get people to actually do the challenge because if people just sign up and don't do the challenge it's just like anything else it's like they sign up for your webinar and they don't show up if they don't participate and and actually come to the challenge and do the challenge every single day then they're not going to get the result that you're promising them now a lot of people think there's this this human tendency to think that once we sign up for something the problem is solved but we want to encourage them to actually do and participate and realize that they're not going to get the result just by signing up, right? They have to actually do something. And I like to break this down into what I call daily deliverables. I personally have what I call an action item instead of a worksheet or a workbook or a let or a, a homework assignment. I call it an action item because I want people to take action. So every time I do a challenge at the end of each day, I have an action item and I expect people to do it. Now, your goal is to get people engaged and doing it so that they can get the result that you promised them in your challenge, right? The more people that can get the result, the more the word will spread, the more you become the expert, yada, 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 the whole thing. So our goal is to get them to do something every single day, at least a little thing. So we teach them a lesson, we teach them what we want to teach them, and then we demonstrate how we've applied that or how it can be applied by someone else. And then we, we challenge them to do something because it's a challenge, right? to demonstrate that they've done it. Now, it can be as simple as posting done in the comments on the Facebook or the lesson for that day. It can be as simple as, you know, whatever the task is, proving that they've done it, some way of proving that they've done it. I've been involved in challenges where um, you had to prove what you did it in terms of actually sharing a Facebook Live video in the group, proving that you've done it and talking about your experience or <laughs> in the group to like if it was a Facebook live um, maybe it wasn't a Facebook live challenge but if it's a uh, some kind of a say, I've been in, I've done so many challenges it's hard to think but say it's a money challenge and you had to do something with your budget well you'd have to go on Facebook live and show that you had created this way of dealing with your budget or or doing a worksheet or a journal so you can do it it can, it can be as simple as have somebody journal or make a brainstorm list and write it down and either they could take a picture of it or they could post about it or they could share their number I love when people share their aha moments or their lessons learned because that helps to trigger aha moments and lessons learned in other people but you decide what is it that you want to do now part of this helps to highlight people that other people are participating so it provides social proof it also encourages other people it gives you more engagement now you've got some you know customer created um, content not just you creating the content so that adds more social proof um, but call people out in a, in a really positive way to increase their status never call people out in a negative way in your challenges unless you don't want people to ever do your challenges again right unless it's a paid challenge and they're paying you to be a tough coach on them don't call them out in front of other people it's just like feedback in your job or at work if your boss belittles you and gives you negative feedback in front of everybody else how does that make you feel right so treat other people like you would want to be treated but if you can find ways to increase their status engage them you're always gonna win um, I was actually involved in a challenge where if you didn't participate you didn't do a live video in the group the, the first time you didn't do that every day you were out of the challenge you were out that was a year-long challenge we just finished that it was it was really it was challenging some days but it was really really fun and very educational I've been involved in challenges and I've done challenges where you know people actually had to physically prove every day that they had done the challenge or they're out I mean and I've been in other challenges where you know you're just on your own and 
I find that if you really want to get the most out of your challenge, you find a way to hold people accountable. And it doesn't have to be embarrassing. It doesn't have to be doing Facebook Lives. You can do a whole progression where, hey, they just have to write done or write a single word. Like I like to change the word up every day, not just use like done. So then I know they've actually read the lesson. They just didn't go through and write done, 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 done every day. Um, especially in some, I will talk about this tomorrow, in some challenges we have awards and prizes and promotions for all the people that participate and then we randomly choose one or we choose the best answer or we choose the one that gets the most likes. There's all different ways you can do that. Talk about that tomorrow. But the whole purpose is to get people doing what they committed to doing in the first place. And you are setting yourself up as the coach, the leader, the expert, and the guide. And as such, you want to actually guide and lead people through the process. And that's holding them accountable to the commitment that they made saying, yep, I'm going to do this challenge. I want this result. If you want this result, these are the steps. Do the steps, get the result. Don't do the steps, don't get the results. Half-ass do the steps, maybe get half-ass results. But I tell you what, people with half-ass results are more likely to go back and do it again to get the real results that they want, right? Absolutely. So sometimes half-ass will pass. I don't know, that's a little harsh, but very, very true, right? Done is better than perfect. Taking action is better than never doing anything and worrying and regretting, well, what would have happened had I taken action? So that's our lesson for today. Again, my trick is to do a daily action item. I have a daily action item and I actually expect people to do something every single day. And I don't always make them prove it. Depends on the audience. You have to test it. it depends on who your target audience is. It depends on your, your group, who you're going after, whether they should actually physically prove it or not. It depends on your group whether they should do a post or, and I, I like posting at a minimum, I like them to post some word indicating that they read the lesson or listened to the video and actually, actually, they at least thought about it. They might have, not. it doesn't really prove that they've actually done it, but they at least learned and listened to enough to know what today's word was that they had a post in the comments below. So that is some indication that people are engaged and participating, even if they don't actually do the action that you assigned them. And most of mine, I don't, I don't make them get on and do a Facebook. I've never, I'm trying to think if I've ever done one where I've made, I haven't done one yet where I've made people get on and do a Facebook live, which I probably should because that's kind of my thing is, you know, get on there, talk about your experience. And that would be actually a really good way to get them to talk about their experience. It's a great way to get testimonials and to get people to share what it is that they're learning along the way and what's working for them and what's not. Because we're all different and what works for me might not work for someone else. Sit, go out, make it an awesome day. Do this. Today, your action item is to think about and map out, you've mapped out your lessons, what your five things are or how many ever you're doing for your challenge. This is what we're doing in each of those days. What is my action item or my deliverable? And I'm trying to think, I don't have, I don't have, I just finished a 30 day challenge where I showed that. And what I do, I'm going to tell you a secret right now. I actually start with the result I want to get for each day. What do I want people to get? What's the outcome I want for each day? And then I work backwards to say, okay, here's the outcome I want. Here's what I need to teach them or tell them or what stories go along with this. And then here's the action that I need them to take so that they will get this result. And that's how I do it. I actually work backwards as I'm, I'm coming up with my daily deliverables from the outcome I want to what's the daily deliverable. And I map out, a, and you know, I usually use an Excel, not an Excel spreadsheet anymore, but a Google Docs, a Google form to map this out for myself so that I know well, what is the action I'm going to have them do today? So today your action item is to, for each of your days of your challenge, say, what is my action item for each of those days? Sit, go out, make it an awesome day. And I'll, of course, see you tomorrow. Bye.